Hello lovely dancers, my name is Aisha and welcome back to Belly Dance Tutorials. In today's class I'm gonna go over some hip circles on one side. In today's class I'm gonna go over some uh, hip circles on one side, horizontal from front to back. <laughs> I know it's a mouthful, but it will make more sense when I'll show them to you and when I'll go over the technique. I, I have previous tutorials on hip circles and I really insist on this topic because it's the bread and butter of belly dancing. So belly dancing is all about hip movements, <laughs> not so much the belly. So uh, that's why I insist a lot on uh, technique on uh, hip movements and to incorporate them in your routine. So today I'm going to go over uh, a certain type of hip circles uh, on one side. So to show it to you first, it's going to look like this. Other side. So this is the basic one. Right? But uh, we'll build on this and then we'll make it uh, bigger and better. But for now, let's go over the basic technique, which is, you know, quite simple, pretty intuitive. We focus on one hip. So I have previous tutorials on hip circles. I'll just link them um, down below. But um, the basic hip circle on both hips goes like this. And uh, we are thinking of four points in space, front, back, side, side. Knees are bent, pelvis tucked in, basic posture, and we try to connect these four points in a circle. So I'm going to start with side, front, other side, back, side, front, side, back. So the basic hip circle, which can be, you know, smaller, bigger. <laughs> but today we're going to work on one hip only. So our mental focus is on one hip, the working hip, although both of them will move because they are connected. <laughs> but um, we, we just focus on one hip at a time and we'll make the movement bigger on that side. So from front, the movement will look like this. Yeah, so this hip that I'm focusing on, I'm going to push it forward, out, back, and back to center. So it's like one loop, one loop. The movement starts with pushing forward. So make sure that you get this part, even though it might be smaller in some situations, but it's not gonna be just the side. That's not wrong, but it's just a different movement. So you're gonna start with pushing front, side, back, and come back to middle. On other side, pushing front, side, back, and back to center to neutral point. Um, your body will probably shift a little bit from side to side. So your weight starts on the, the opposite leg. This is the working hip. Weight starts here. But as you start moving the, the actual hip, you're gonna shift the weight on that leg until it's completely on that leg. So I'm starting to shift, moving forward. Now all the weight is on this leg, the working leg, as I'm shifting, uh, as I'm moving the hip out. Uh, moving back, weight is still on this leg, and bringing together, weight is on both legs. So, weight is here, this is the working hip. Forward, out, now the weight is all on this hip, back and center. Forward, out, back, center. Forward, out, back, center. Right? It's on one side. Ke uh, try to keep it horizontal as much as possible. It's not a lift here. Very important to keep the heels down for now. Um, if you try to raise the heel, it'll go into a more vertical circle and that's a different movement. We are not doing that right now. Um, it looks a little bit as uh, like salsa or Latin dance. It's very easy to uh, 
mix them up uh, or confuse it, especially when we're going to do on both sides. We'll get into that, but um, it's not a lift. So Latin dance technique uh, has more of the hip rolling or vertical movement like this. Yeah, salsa. But this is all horizontal and heel is down. All right, uh, most, so we can use this movement simply traveling side to side or traveling in a center around ourselves. So a simple uh, traveling pattern to side, on this side, yeah, I'm going to do hip circle, hip circle. And notice that the hip goes outside the body frame, yeah. So my body is still vertical in this plane, but the hip is going outside, outside the body frame. Out, and out, and out, and out. And uh, we can do um, a traveling, a circular traveling pattern around, yeah, around. And my body is facing outside the circle, right? So I'm going to start on this side. Out, 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 out. Try the other side. We're gonna go in this, um, you know, circle. It's basically circle on a circle, yeah, hip circle over a circle pattern, traveling pattern. And I'm gonna start on this side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, make sure that your hip, your legs are still in a turnout position. As you step around, my feet are in a turnout position. They're not going to go in for any reason, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and the um, thighs are together. We try to keep, you know, the inner thighs close together and not create any kind of weird gaps, right? <laughs> so. Um, as I'm moving around, the other hip leg will come and close the gap. Right? Yeah, not, not hard, right? Not too hard, pretty easy. Uh, most often I've seen this movement used in a um, frontal direction. So, um, like this. <laughs> So we're going, um, our body is facing corner or even sideways and only, and our hip is creating this hip circle toward, toward the audience. Yeah, going, kind of going forward, right? And you can do a double one. And we can change on the other side and do a circle, circle. So again, make sure that the circle is as horizontal as possible, is front to back, your knees are bent, basic posture, and um, arms. We can do simple posing arms like this. Arm are just, you know, are just here, <laughs> nothing. And you can do any arm posing movement, L shape, um, framing the hips, Hair lifting, yes, um, or even a little uh, arm movement you can add. And I'm going to do a simple one, which is like going in and out, in and out, in and out. Other way, in and out. Yeah, I had it a little more. <laughs> All right, pretty easy, yeah? <laughs> I hope you liked it so far. Um, your range of motion will increase in time. If you are more of a beginner or intermediate, you may not have enough um, stretch in your hips, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't force it, just go little by little 
um, in time it will, it will increase. All right, um, so we did this on flat feet. We can do this in relevé. Same idea, right? But you are up in relevé, up, up. And as I said, you can travel with that in the, any direction, uh, forward, backward, side, side, circle. Um, and now I would like to add um, a little more advanced <laughs> use of this movement. Um, it, it looks like this. Usually it's in a circle. Well, I'm going to show it in a circle for now. But it can be any traveling pattern. Sorry, it's this way. <laughs> All right, so what happens here? <laughs> because this is a little tricky. Um, we have, uh, we start in relevé. Now the working leg is behind, right? When we did it earlier, the working leg is kind of in line with the, the other leg or even a little forward. But now the working leg is behind. This is my working hip actually. Um, and as I'm doing the hip movement, I'm going to push forward on this leg. So I'm pushing the hip forward and the same as before, going out, back in and, and you know, from go back to the original position. Um, and then the other leg is crossing forward. So I'm going to show it in this direction. Out. And then the other leg is crossing forward, so you can advance. Yeah, the other way. This is going to be circle, 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 circle. So it's another use of this movement. Um, it's the same movement. <laughs> but see, it, uh, movements look different in various dance contexts how we combine them with other movements, with traveling patterns or whatever arms, or even the relevé gives, gives it a different feeling. Uh, but the, only, the difference is that the leg is behind, and as you step out, as you step out, you bring your hip in this circle. And the other one will have to close together, and we're actually crossing with the other one. Right, so I'm gonna come here. So step out, and the same time you do this circle, and when you are finished, the other leg will cross. So you put the weight on the working hip as you go around and cross. Weight, yeah? So the working hip is weighted. It's almost a rule, in belly dancing at least. <laughs> um, the maximum amplitude of the movement is gonna be when you have all the weight on that side. Generally speaking, there are exceptions, but you know, just keep in mind. So, um, one more time, I'm gonna start here, and out, 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 out. I like this movement in a circle. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go around in a circle, and this time we are facing in as opposed to the first time when uh, we are facing out, this time we are facing in. So, any arm posing. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to start out, 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 cross, out, cross, out, cross, out, cross, out. Cross, circle. Always start with a frontal movement. Out, yes? Front, out, back. All right. Um, and this can be smooth, so you can make it as a smooth uh, movement, or it can be accentuated. If you have 
in the song something that goes trum 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 trum. So it go, it has a hard accent. You can make the uh, movement accentuated. Tuck, tuck, tuck. It's the same circle, but the end of it will have a little, a little. Um, I don't know how to say, <laughs> um, a hard end, right? It's hard end, okay? I'll do it a few times. And out, 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 out. So it's a accent, 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 accent. All right? <laughs> um, let's try all of this on music. Let's try just side to side, the regular one. Out, out. Let's try um, facing the side. I'm gonna go back here and do a few. Either way. All right. Let's try it in relevant. Just the simple one. Other way. All right. Let's try the second type with a more advanced version. Where we go, um, I'm gonna go in a straight line for now. But the working hip, the working leg is behind. So we're gonna go circle, cross, circle, cross, circle, cross. The music will start again. <laughs> Either way. I'm gonna be on this side. Let's try this in a circle uh, and in a smooth motion. And let's try it accentuated. Answers. Try to practice these uh, movements if you like them. Um, one thing I wanted to say when you are up here, Leve, generally speaking, you want to be uh, as high as possible. Yeah, so it's uh, try to be as high as possible. You might need to uh, bend the knees a little bit more to execute a movement, but you know, try, try that and see how it works for you. I think that's uh, what I had for today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up um, and also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please write them down in the comments area and I will try to address them as soon as I can. Um, keep practicing <laughs> and until next time, shimmy shimmy.